What's going on everybody, Jadeb here. Uh, today's video is going to be over what add-ons I use and how do I get them the way that I have them. I get messages all the time. Um, hey man, how do you set up your add-ons? How do you set up LUI? How do you do this? Whatever. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick video over it and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Maybe find something that you didn't know or something like that and be good to go. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the add-ons and uh, if it's in the add-ons section, then I'll go over the settings or whatever for it. And that way you can just kind of look and set it up the way I have it. Uh, so the first add-on is advanced filters. All this does is add a search bar up here and it lets you type in like Alkosh or whatever. You can type in whatever uh, and it'll pop up here. So if you just type in Ebon, it'll type in all the Ebon pieces that I have. The only thing that it doesn't do is when I type in worm, something like worm, um, I know for a fact that I have a necklace and a uh, one-handed weapon here. And as you can see, the Manic Cleaver and the Watchers. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks about it is that like, no matter if you type in worm or whatever, it's not going to put these up here. Um, so just kind of just be aware of that if you have something like that going on but it also works on like bank spaces and all kinds of other stuff right and then if you go to um if you go to the bank and you try to deposit stuff it, it will pop up as well but if you're in your house and you're doing um what is it called like the chest and stuff like that uh, it won't pop up like when you go to deposit it, it won't pop up there so you have to scroll down for that unfortunately uh and that actually has a setting here so the next one is alpha gear uh and basically this one just lets you and here's the settings here you can kind of look at them I, I don't really adjust anything from any of these settings i move pretty much everything i try to make my screen less cluttered as possible um when I move the numbers all the way down, all this does is show you the numbers down here on the settings. Uh, and that is uh, Alpha Gear version 6.4.1. And it still hasn't been updated as of as of this video, me and main. But uh, you can set the Alpha Gear up when you scroll down, go to controls. Um, scroll down to alpha gear and then I have them set up by the F keys because I think it's easier that way um, just keep in mind that when you have your gear up like this and um, say you're fighting an ad in like black rose prison or something like that and um, you're like oh shit I need to swap back to my trash setup and you click it once um, and for some reason it doesn't swap just give it a little bit of time once you see your skills and stuff and he'll start like goofing out a little bit like like this like he's kind of stuttering a little bit as he's walking that means things are swapping so all you're going to do is just make sure that you swap bars make sure everything's set and then you can hit it one more time later on while you're running if you're in a boss fight or or say in black rose prison right right before the boss fight um you're like oh i need boss gear and it doesn't swap he literally just stands there and then right as the portal's spawning he'll swap all his gear just make excuse me make sure you have your weapon out swap bars very quick and you should be good to go um, you don't have to sit there and spam it if you sit there and spam um like one of your f keys or whatever say you sit here and spam ice boss or whatever over and over again um sometimes what it'll do is it'll just put whatever you have uh whatever you had on last it makes it clutch out a little bit. So just only hit it once and then you should be good to go. Uh, uh, next one is assassin, uh, assassin. Assisted Rapids. It's just whenever you get on your mount, you hit uh, Rapids pops up on your bar and you're good to go. Uh, and then you can change like the... The timing and stuff like that, uh, which ability it's slotted to, how long before the effect fades, and, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, whatever it pops up again, or right before it pops up again, you can you can change the time for that as well. 
Uh, next one is Asylum Sanctorium status panel. This just basically shows you Lothus's, uh It just shows you the timers of the boss fights. So you have uh, Lothus timer for when he enrages, Falms, when he enrages. The only thing that happens is it starts the timer from zero and it goes just all the way up to like three minutes and it goes past it. Once it has three minutes, it'll turn red. Um, once it turns, I think, two minutes, 30 seconds, it'll turn orange or yellow. I think it's yellow. Um, and that's basically it. That's pretty much the only notifier you get. Um, also, it tells you it starts from zero and counts its way up again. It'll, um, you'll kind of get a rough idea of when Lothus will jump, do cone, and do the, um, that uh, thing where he raises his staff up in the air and shoots people, shoots everybody around him. Um, that one. Um, it tells you all three of those, and then it tells you when Falms jumps. Uh, shows you the timer for that and how much longer he has down so it'll it'll count down from that one it'll start at like 25 or whatever seconds and as soon as he starts jumping and once he come once he starts walking in you can you can see the timer uh pretty cool when you're doing asylum progressing it or whatever xbox people i know your pain don't worry about it i i had uh i have three monitors and i had to add a fourth one just for a stupid timer uh, for Asylum when I was in there on Xbox, so I feel your pain. Um, auto category. This just basically organizes my inventory the way it is here. So crafting containers, um, it, it just organizes it by sets and stuff like that. So pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty useful um, uh, add-on if you want your inventory managed. And these are just the, um, the settings that I have here. Nothing too crazy or anything like that. All right, next one is Azora. The only reason I use Azora is for the uh, high key bind text. Uh, everything else I use as pretty much default for, well, I mean, I say default because of LUI, but I, I use mainly everything um, just kind of however it comes right i don't really adjust anything too much um the biggest thing that changes my lui is just or excuse me my ui is lui um, which i've considered taking off but i like how it's stacked here but azora takes away the numbers here so if you see here it has my buttons so if i go to settings add-ons as for a high key bind it tags off you can see my numbers or my letters, and you can see my numbers here. Um, that just takes it off, just kind of like a whatever. Makes it look a little bit cleaner. Um, also, huge, um, some other things you might want to do when you first get this add-on, you'll want to come to action bar and scroll down. Show overlay for ultimate, turn those off. All right, so both of them show overlay off, off. Target, make sure you scroll down to where it says overlay formats. You want to go no, um, no overlay on both of these. Scroll back up, go to attributes, scroll down and do overlay format. Make sure you have no overlay there. And, um, and then general, if you want to unlock your UI, you can change all this stuff like battle, battleground scores, bounties, experience bar, group members, all that stuff. You can, you can change all that stuff, right? No, we'll just lock that. And then here's the other settings here. And then of course you can set it by profile if you want to. Uh, I don't, because once you have it set up, you can, you're good to go. All right, so the next one, uh, BRP helper. BRP helper is super nice. Um, I, I only use it mainly for the bat swarm because it's just kind of annoying. Uh, obviously everybody on Xbox uh, and PS4, um, you guys will have the feel for it. Um, you know like you just like oh man i bat swim's coming i know it's it's about to come right and that's that's kind of what i go off of when i don't have brp here helper on but it's just kind of nice to to look somewhere and and see the timer for it uh other than that uh i think it tells you some other stuff i i don't remember what else it tells you um yeah i honestly couldn't tell you what else it tells you i think it i think it actually tells you an arrow an arrow um 
where some of the bigger ads go like um the haji um maybe maybe the troll or archers or something like that i i think it tells you like i think it points to like an arrow which one it spawns at but i can't be sure i think it does um but yeah it's just a nice add-on if you go into brp bug eater super super awesome add-on i've had it since i've got uh ps uh, or pc basically what happens is if you're just running around um sometimes you'll get a your uh a error ui message and it'll just pop up on your screen somewhere and you just have to click that x button uh if you get this add-on it won't pop up it'll just stop that from popping up which is super nice i don't think there's anything else there right oh, okay bug eater here you go what i have for a bear uh bug eater uh next one is codes combat alert i do use this one this is like the only one that i do use for combat <clears throat> as far as like what to kind of assist me in certain things um uh, basically what happens is it doesn't get everything but it gets a majority of stuff what it does is um code did an awesome job on this add-on uh, really good job basically what it does is um if there's something coming um, like I need a dodge roll or something like that. It'll make like a ding noise. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough to where if I'm not paying attention to um, the game itself, like if I'm looking at stream and reading chat, and just kind of goofing around. If I hear like a ding noise, I know to like dodge roll or hold block or something like that. Um, so uh, it's a really good add-on that he had uh, designed. Really, really good. It also tells you how many smashes, if I remember right, it tells you how many smashes, like in V-Mall, um, the Hulk has done on Rakat. So if the Hulk is out and, um, you know, the off tank gets smashed twice, it'll pop up somewhere and it'll say like so-and-so um, smashes, I think, two, one, or two, and it'll turn yellow, which is super nice. Uh, just super kind of cool. If you have somebody that doesn't like talking or if you don't have, if you have like an off tank that is very quiet or is, or 90% of people that have mics, they're all screwed up anyways. So it's just kind of nice to be able to see that. Uh, next one, combat metrics. Um, th the only reason I have this one on on my tank is, uh, you can, here's the settings here. Um, the only reason I have this on my tank is because a lot of times uh, people on stream want to see what our group damage is when we raid. And then some people want to see what the healing output is for whatever reason. I, I don't know why, but, you know, whatever, right? Um, and that's why I have those two here. And you can, and the way to move it, you just click it and drag it move wherever it happens where move it wherever when you first download it it's going to be way up here um just immediately move it to wherever you want it and you you should be pretty much good to go for that um but the x the the two swords that shows you your group damage and the one sword shows you your single target so show dps and then show single target as you can see the one sword shows your single target if you if that's what you want to use all right so next one is um cooldowns this is uh the garrett made this one or excuse me garrett the garrett's is twitch id uh, but he comes in the stream every once in a while garrett made a really cool add-on called cooldowns and that's what these are down here it just tracks your synergies <coughs> excuse me all right, so it, it tracks like by set, so blood spawn, uh, Yonokrins, which is this one here, or is it that one? I don't know. Um, but it but it tracks like pretty much every set. It's really 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 cool. Um, I have everything pretty much default here, and then it has like um, your synergies. You know, when it runs out, as soon as you proc it, it'll start counting down from twenty seconds, and you'll see it here. Uh, the game's still kind of messed up that no matter if you hit it or not, it'll still count down here. But sometimes in the game, you can hit orbs like two or three times. And it's just the way the game is for whatever reason. You'll still get the effect and everything, but for some reason, it just 
<laughs> it'll let you hit its synergies twice sometimes. Whatever. Um, but then it has passives. Uh, I think this one is the... Um, this is a Nightblade one. Uh, which is really cool because no matter which character you get on, or class, it'll swap to that. So I know on... I know on um, Necro... It'll have the um, it'll have the one passive so where you use a corpse and it gives you ultimate. It'll have that as he, as well here. So super nice. All right. So the next ones that I use uh, occasionally, and I'll just do these three at once, which is daily alchemy, daily provisioning, and uh, lazy writ crafter. You if you do writs a lot, uh, definitely put this on all your characters. Because Lazy Rick Crafter will do pretty much everything except for provisioning and alchemy. And that's where you have to get these two add-ons here. Um, these three uh, come into play, right? And as far as, like, um, messing with them, I don't mess with them at all. Um, whatever settings and add-ons they have, I don't mess with them. Uh, the only thing, actually, I do is when you have an event pop-up, you know how uh, sometimes, uh, if you're on PC and we've had this, um, you know, like the recent event, the, the Jubilee stuff, right? Um, those boxes will pop up and it will sometimes bug out. So I turn that off to where it doesn't automatically open up the boxes. Other than that, that's the only thing that I mess with. Um, so, again, if you do Ritz, just make sure you download these three add-ons. Uh, Dark UI is what I use here. Um, it just makes everything just look a little bit nicer, more clean. Um, when I go into pretty much anything, it just makes it look a little bit nicer. That's, that's the only reason why I use it. Uh, I, I've turned it off and on numerous times. And the only reason why is because whenever there's a new update or a new patch... It makes this black stuff here go invisible or transparent. And it's really freaking annoying. So that's why I've been taking it off and putting it on quite a bit. And that's why, in like, I think my last video, you'll see that sometimes I'll have it on and sometimes I won't. Um, next one is the extended stats. Th this just basically shows um, extra stuff like your spell pen and stuff like this when when i was pvp and i would look at my spell pen and uh, physical penetration and stuff like that just to kind of see what my base stats are um, that that's the only reason why i really use this all right um and then holder's reflexes it, when you're in a group <clears throat> When you're in a group, it'll, and you've probably seen it in stream and other videos where on the right hand side, you'll see a group, you'll see like at names and then um, boss damage and then group damage. That's, that's all that is. Uh, everybody, if you want to track people's DPS here, people have to have it downloaded and they have to have um, share damage on. So, um, and then this is, this is what I have. If you're a tank, you definitely want to do show Warhorn, show Ultimate. Uh, for Colossus, if you're a Necro, definitely show Colossus, show Ultimate on. Just so people in Raid Lead, whatever, can track that. And um, that way you guys don't pop the same Ultimate at the same time. Other than that, I don't really mess. I don't mess with anything else. Uh, and NDS did a fantastic job on this. Uh, here, here's this thing if you want to have like a certain animated whatever uh, he'll he'll do it for you and then Hodor reflexes boat and stuff like that he, he did a pretty hit between him and code they they do some pretty amazing work on just add uh, add-ons in general really good really good players and really good um, whatever the fuck add-on makers <laughs> Uh, next one, inventory insight. Uh, I, inventory insight is just makes it basically you can set this to a. Hey, let me close this right quick because so you go to con, you go to controls here and you can scroll up to inventory insight and then set it to whatever thing minus page down and then it pops up. And what this does, if you type in 
you know, whatever, right? Worm. And as you can see, that axe and the, um, the axe and the, uh, what is it? The necklace from earlier didn't pop up. The mad cleaver and stuff. If you hit this, filters on set name only. This will come up with everything that has worm. So this is a really, really cool add-on. And if you look to the to the right, it'll tell you like the brief description of whatever it is. But at the very bottom, it'll say which character it's on. So like mine is chug that beer. How do I get beer? Not drinking beer. Right. Uh, it's just like bank. It'll tell you how many you have, like times one, times two. That means you have two on that character, right? So really, really, really cool add-on. So GG's on that on inventory insight. Um, live filter. I don't even know what this does to be honest. Um, I always have it off. So whatever. Uh, LUI. This is the big one that everybody wants to know. Oh, here's inventory insights uh, settings. We'll start from the bottom. I I don't mess with anything to be honest here. So here's all the settings. You can pause it if you need to, but I, I don't mess with any of this stuff. Everything's set to default. Uh, LUI. Okay. So here's the bottom. We'll scroll up. I have info panel off, splash commands off, chat um, announcements off. The only things that I have on is boss and debuffs and unit frames. It's the only th two things that I have on. And then you and then you can set it to um, copy character file. So all you got to do is just click this and then like other characters will pop up. And those are different accounts that I've had. Right. Um, and you just click one and, and, and it'll just load up. And then so here's the buffs here. Let me just open up all these so you guys can see what the settings are for it. All right, so everything's pretty much default for the most part. Nothing too crazy. Um, some of these you might want to pause probably just to look at. But most of the stuff I have off, only a few things that I have on like food and experience. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I went a lot. I'm doing this a lot slower than last time. If you ever want to unlock your buff windows, all you have to do is just click on here, hit escape, and then hit like the period button, and then you can you can change all this stuff. See how I have my player debuffs and buffs here? That's that's the only thing that I have on. Uh, and of course, of the targets debuffs and buffs. I don't have any of this crap on. Because I feel like it just clutters your your site. You know what I mean? Like your view. So that's why I don't have this stuff on. Um, and then you can obviously move this as well. Um, yeah. So then all you got to do is just hit escape. And um, go back to the add-on. Turn it off and you should be good to go. And then unit frames here. Let me turn all this stuff on. All right. Again, I don't really mess with any of this stuff here uh, either. Everything's pretty much the same. The only thing that I change is where everything is. Like I just, I just change, I just unlock UI and then just move it to wherever I want it. All right. Here we go. Almost done. Uh, again, I don't know why I have to say this again, but you can just pause this and look at whatever you need. If you're saying you're going too fast, we'll just pause it. Um, okay. And then again, you can unlock custom frames, hit escape, hit the period button, and then move it wherever you want. So like your raid group will go all the way across your screen. Cause that's the way I have it, but you can change this. Uh, and then your boss here, you can change that wherever you want. I've seen people where they have like, you know, your frames here and then they put the boss frames here. Uh, but yeah, you can change all that stuff. Once you have LUI on, um, 
that pretty much controls your group and like all your unit frames here. Okay. All right, we're good. And then as you can see, um, the betting edge and stuff like that, I use the LUI default numbers for that. That's why in Azor you turn that stuff off. You turn like the no overlay off. Or else you have to come in here and find out where the stuff is and turn it off yourself on LUI. Uh, okay, so that's LUI. Map pins. Uh, I used to use this. Um, this basically just shows you on your map. Like it'll show lore books and sky shards and all kinds of crap. Um, where it, it pretty much shows everything. It's it's one add-on. It's like three. It's like three add-ons in one. Right, it's destination, which shows you all like way shrines and stuff that are blacked out that you can't travel to. It'll show you those. It'll show you sky shards and lore books. Um, it'll also show you treasure maps, uh, the rifts uh, for Sigic, uh, for the Sigic skill line and stuff. Like it'll it'll show you all that stuff. So really good add on if you're doing a lot of that stuff. Uh, purge tracker by code again. This is just super nice. Um, if you're a healer, you'll probably want to get this for like VHOF or you know, um, I have it on for uh, Sunspire on Locastes because the Storm Astros throw a dot on you and your group members, and you can purge it um, right before the beam, beam phase comes out, and it'll help negate some damage there. Uh, just super cool add-on um, you can as soon as it pops up you can move it wherever you want and um, The only thing that will happen for purge tracker. I don't think there's a thing for yeah, there's not uh, What will happen if somebody needs purges? Um, it'll bring it'll their name will be lit up orange and it's all transparent um, So it won't take up too much room uh, But it'll just pop up orange and you just you know if you're in range you just purge it good to go uh, Radificator, this this add-on here um, tracks. Um, so if you go to Maelstrom or any trial, or excuse me, any arena, any arena, um, you can it'll pop up a little bar or a little box. It'll pop up the time, the um, what is it? The time, the um, how many deaths, how many, not how many deaths you have, but how many lives you have left, and how many out of how many lives. <clears throat> excuse me so like 36 out of 36 or whatever and i'll show you the time as well um as soon as you pass like usually like the 30 minute mark or the 40 minute mark the time will turn red letting you know that you went over time other than that that's the only reason i use it is for maelstrom uh and then also for trials because some people come in and like you know how long you've been in here or how long these people have been in here or whatever because i help out a lot of people in trials uh, and sometimes you'll go into some instances and it'll be like, oh, yeah, well, they've been in here for like 10 hours or whatever. Uh, so that's that's what that is. Uh, Ray Notifier. The only reason I have this here is because of uh, Ma Lorcage. You know, if you come into a progression group uh, and, you know, they're new to Ma or whatever, I'll turn this on only for the paths on the first boss. Other than that, I have it always turned off. There's, there's no reason to have Ray Notifier when you have Code's Combat Alert, I think. Code did a fantastic job on Code's Combat Alert. It's really good. Um, show Blast Bones. So um, this just basically shows you... Uh, I need to actually turn that off. This is basically just shows you a little Blast Bones icon for Necros. And all it does is... Um, Whenever your necro is ready to be hit again, um, it'll just it'll just light up. Um, that's basically what it is. It's just an icon that looks like this, uh, and it has blast bones on it. And when you can hit blast bones again, um, it'll it'll just kind of let you know this will be lit up. Uh, if you can't hit it again, there'll be a timer, and it'll be grayed out. That's that's it. Um, the only reason why we use that, or at least I use that. Is because the game is still really buggy when it comes to necros and it's just really annoying you're just sitting there hitting blast bones over and over again and nothing's happening same thing with tether and all this other crap with necros but um, it 
least this will show you some indicator that you can hit it because the game itself will still light up down here saying you can hit it but you really can't and that's just the game being the game um superstar the only reason i have this uh, is i'm working on uh some stuff on the on the on the back end of things and where is it at superstar you can just have it to whatever button you want hit it and it'll just pop up with whatever um whatever uh whatever you have on like your cp the gear you're running and stuff like that what's really cool too is that um as soon as you as soon as you like i just hit f3 right and i'm changing my gear all you gotta do is just make sure you swap bars and then swap back and it'll put whatever you have up on here and then you can take like a screenshot and share it to whoever you want and whatnot really really cool add-on uh, that's that's the only reason why i have it on uh, and then Tamriel Trade Center, uh, I use this one because I, I sell a lot of motifs, like a ridiculous amount all the time. And it just tells me, it just helps me tell the price of things. So basically it'll be like, yo, this is, um, you know, immune pots, it, you know, it's averaging between this and this. Uh, it tells you the minimal range, the average range and the maximum range. And then it'll also tell you. Uh, what they what they recommend uh, I always just kind of go uh, roughly about where the average is it's a really cool add-on for that you have to download a separate program that uh, attaches to your desktop and you just run it when you want to run this so you just run it on your desktop good to go and then yeah you, you just turn this on and it'll pop up and you'll hover over an item you can sell it'll pop up down here um, like with what they recommend and stuff pretty cool add-on and the last one is untaunted um the only reason i use this is uh because sometimes the game uh will you'll go to taunt something and then it'll use your stam or magica for whatever you taunt and then it sometimes the ads won't taunt and that's again just the game being the game so there's that uh but here's the settings for that as well the only thing that I did to this was I just lowered, I just made it smaller. That's about it. Uh, and then for, um, for combat, this is what I have for combat. So that way you don't have a bunch of numbers and stuff. So, uh, so you guys are aware. Have that off all of this. Always show number of percentages, stuff like that. Um, again, when when you go to Azora, Azora will will have all that stuff on. So as long as you have like no overlay on, it it won't over. It, you won't have like a number and a percentage here uh, and shit like that. Um, so there's that. Um, also check this out. Um, a lot of people don't know this, and if you're due to to this game or just coming back and you haven't been in on in a while you can change the color of your enemies aoe's and i turned mine to this just huge turquoise looking color um zero two five five two five five i try to do two five five on everything but for some reason it just keeps going back um but anyways it lets you uh lets you change the aoe's and you want to make sure that no matter what you do turn the brightness all the way up because if you have it this low it's I don't know. I think you can easily distinguish this color a lot easier than potentially having red. Because um, if you have red, then for some reason it just... For, for me, if there's red and then there's fire, you're not going to see this. But if there's fire and all that stuff, like you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see this a lot easier. And then for um, friendly AoEs, you'll be able to see this a lot easier. So when, you know, in PvP and stuff, and it's, re it's really hard to miss it. Um, this, I just kind of want to throw this out there because a lot of people don't know this. Um, but also turn the brightness up as well. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, 
I guess I can do this as well. Turn tutorials off. That shit's mad annoying. I mean, if you want to have things that pop up all the time every time you try and do something new, um, yeah, you can turn that off. Loot history, you can turn that on or off. Auto stolen items, you can turn that off. Auto loot, turn that on if you want. Um, if you want to be able to lay down your ground AOEs, immediately and not have to hit the button like two or three times turn auto cast ground abilities on prevent attacking innocent on or innocence so that will so when i look at this character this npc it doesn't light up that's because i can't attack it so if you turn that on you'll stop hitting npcs while you're trying to do something um Here's my other settings. So. Yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, hope this video helps you out some. Uh, and yeah, have a good one. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.